Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we want to talk about the health benefits of probiotics. If you're not supplementing or consuming fermented dairy in your diet, you need to start. And today's program will teach you why you need to start. The knowledge is unbelievable on the health benefits of probiotics. So come join us today and learn something that will benefit you and your family's health. First, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Generous people live happier lives. Researchers from the University of Zurich evaluated 50 subjects' brain response and levels of happiness when pondering what to do with money they had just received. They found when the subjects decided to share some of this money with others, it activated parts of the brain known to be associated with happiness. They also found giving small amounts of money activated the brain to the same level as large amounts. The study was published by Nature Communications. Well, this is a fascinating line of research that is a direct result of the development of what's called functional magnetic resonance imaging. This technological advancement reveals what portion of the brain is active while doing certain tasks. And this study found when someone decides or even thinks about doing an altruistic act, such as donating money to a charity or to a friend in need, it activates the temporal parietal junction, the ventral striatum, and the orbital frontal cortex areas of the brain, which have all been previously shown to be more active when a person is in a state of happiness. An interesting finding of the study is that the mere thought of being generous leads to greater happiness. Also giving small amounts of money to the, uh, led to the same level of brain activation or happiness as larger amounts. Now, one might assume that in order to generate a state of happiness, all we need to do is give insignificant amounts of money or just spend a little time thinking generous and altruistic thoughts. But I assure you, thoughts of generosity that are never fulfilled will eventually end as despair. Now, almost every one of us in this country can give at least a dollar or two to charity, so improve your happiness by being generous. Well, there is good news from Italy. Cocoa and chocolate aren't just tasty treats, they increase your brain power. Researchers from the University of La Aquila reviewed the existing research on the health benefits of chocolate consumption. They found cocoa and the flavanol antioxidants it contains enhances working memory and visual information processing while it improves accuracy in performing metal work. They also found when young people ingest chocolate, it improves test scores when performing highly demanding mental tasks. The study was published by Frontiers in Nutrition. Every now and then, there truly is good news, isn't there? So ingesting just one serving of chocolate leads to improved memory and the ability to process visual information, and it makes you more astute when performing even highly demanding mental tasks. And when you take a little chocolate daily over time, the study also found it improves attention, mental processing, and performance, while it improves memory and verbal fluency. The effects of chocolate are most pronounced in seniors, but even young people with nimble minds benefit from chocolate. Now we can add this study to the previously known health benefits of chocolate, such as lowering rates of hypertension and cardiovascular disease, along with improved blood flow throughout the body. One caveat though on chocolate. For the most benefit, choose low sugar dark chocolate for the most health promoting flavanol antioxidants. Enjoy. Eating fish and fruit while avoiding soft drinks helps to avoid intestinal cancer. Researchers from the European Society for Medical Oncology wanted to know which components of the Mediterranean diet provide the most intestinal health benefits. They evaluated over 840 to 70 year old subjects for their medical history, overall health, and dietary practices. They found those who consume the most fish and fruit, along with consuming the least amount of soft drinks, had the lowest rate of advanced intestinal polyps, which are known to be the early stage of colon cancer. The study was presented at the World Congress on Gastrointestinal Cancer. Well, this one's interesting, and it's just like our brilliant scientists. They need to know how and why things work. And the components of the Mediterranean diet that help to protect the intestinal tract from cancer the most 
our frequent fish and fruit consumption, along with the practice of rarely, if ever, drinking soft drinks. Now, it's important to note the benefits of eating a healthy diet come from its diverse ingredients and a consistent pattern of consumption not from picking apart the diet so that we only need to eat certain foods. Now, the Mediterranean diet includes fish and fowl with less frequent red meat servings, vegetables, fruit, whole grains, nuts and seeds, olives and olive oil, along with fermented dairy and little to no processed foods, including rare servings of sugar and soft drinks. Eating healthy food is worth the cost, and it's worth it on every level. Well, today on Your Health, we will discuss the health benefits of probiotics. Stay tuned to learn more. Probiotics bring you back in balance by encouraging the good bacteria and suppressing the bad. Multiple strains of probiotics in a supplement provide an even greater benefit for both adults and children. And today only, buy a bottle of BioInnovations Probiotics or BioKids Chewable Probiotics for Children and get a second bottle free. That's two bottles for the price of one. Scientific studies point to the vital role probiotics play as nutritional support for the proper function of the intestinal tract and in promoting a strong immune system. That's why BioInnovations offers physician-formulated Probiotic Plus and BioKids Chewable Probiotics. Again, today's special, Buy one bottle, get the second bottle free. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. I'm Dr. Becker with Your Health at a Glance. Have you or someone you love recently been diagnosed with cancer? It is projected by the year 2020, some 18 million Americans will be cancer survivors. The main reason for this upward trend is our treatments for cancer are better than ever. Our cancer medicines are much improved, and we know more about how cancer works. In addition, holistic principles of cancer care are becoming standard of care treatment. Plus, research centers are discovering natural substances with true benefits for the cancer patient. This is an age of wonder, as we can incorporate both mainstream medicine and the fields of complementary and anti-aging medicine into your plan to beat cancer. I'm a cancer survivor who's here to tell you that you have more tools than ever in your battle with cancer. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Do you believe that nature holds the answer to your health needs? Are you looking for a supplement that's simple and pure, yet really works? If you're looking for nature's answer to better health, look to Aloha Noni Juice. It's pure and fresh, just like nature intended. Aloha Noni Juice is brought to you direct from the islands of Polynesia. Aloha Noni Juice is 100% pure with no added sugar or sweet fruit fillers. It's the perfect addition to your low sugar diet. Aloha Noni Juice drinkers will tell you their vitality, energy, and sense of well-being have improved, along with relief from many painful conditions. Made by nature, proven by science, Aloha Noni Juice contains only nature's best. And now you can enjoy the benefits of our new 100% certified organic Noni Juice. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Welcome back, everyone. It's great to be with you today. We have a great show planned. We're going to be talking about intestinal health. You know what they say, your immune system starts in your intestines. So it's so important that we maintain healthy, healthy, healthy intestinal systems. Richard, that's really amazing. When you think about it, how and why, how do people understand immune system starts in your intestines? But it does. It does, absolutely. And after our discussion today, I think you'll know why that statement is so true. The uh, intestinal bacteria plays a vital role in our health. In alterations of our intestinal bacteria, what we call intestinal dysbiosis, is the origin of most of our chronic diseases. That's a very bold statement, but the science is there to support it. And to help you understand how we came to those conclusions, let's review a little science. 
Scientists from seven countries mapped out the genetic composition of 124 healthy test subjects intestinal bacteria. What are the genetics involved in the gut bacteria? That was the quest of this study. They found that the bacteria in the intestines of these subjects had 100 times the genes than the human had, 100 times more genes. So many people refer to the intestinal bacteria's DNA as the second genome. The first genome is our genetic material, but the second genome is in the gut, and it's 100 times more genes than ours. 10 times the number of bacteria as human cells, and the typical volunteer in this test had 160 different species of bacteria on average, 100 different, 160. Now it can be widely variable from that, but 160 was about the average. Now all of these varying bacteria in the intestinal tract, and this is all normal, it's supposed to be like this, produce what's called endotoxins. They're inside of us and they're released. The bacteria release endotoxins. And what these toxins do is they prime the immune system. If this continued priming was not present, your immune system would go flaccid. And when a challenge, an immune challenge comes along like streptococcus, it's not prepared to respond to that threat. So the endotoxin release of the bacteria prime the immune system. It's like a continued vaccine, a natural vaccine that keeps you going, keeps your immune system in shape. It's like the gym for the immune system. Does that make sense? Because that's exactly what's happening. Now, what happens when we insult the intestinal bacteria? What's our most common insult to intestinal? Probably antibiotics. And I'm not telling you to never take them because they can save lives. But what happens when we do take an antibiotic? Well, the University of British Columbia wanted to figure that one out. So they used laboratory animals and they analyzed some 2,000 different chemical uh, parameters of the bacteria in the gut of these laboratory animals, 2,000 different ones. Then they gave these animals a round of antibiotics and they reanalyzed those 2,000 different chemicals. They found seven out of eight or 1,750 out of 2,000 of these different chemicals, the vast majority either increased or decreased two to 10,000 fold from just one round of antibiotics. Profound changes in bowel flora. The most affected systems throughout the body of these laboratory animals were the hormonal system, the inflammatory system, the metabolic systems that control the uh, metabolism of carbohydrates and fat. This is your diabetes and cardiovascular disease connection. And the bioproduction and recycling of blood products. This is your detoxification systems. But it affected far more than that. Those were just the most common. Now, the next set of research that will help you understand the importance of this is the University of Pennsylvania found that long-term diet also has a profound effect on the composition of our intestinal flora, the bacteria in our gut. They determined three basic types, and it's not important what three those are, but they were able to determine what you eat every day. Are you eating a fast food diet? Are you eating a um, health food store diet, a garden variety diet, an organic? All of these have implications in the long-term effect of our bowel flora. The University of Maryland showed that when we take probiotics, which is the topic of this discussion today, when we take fermented dairy uh, bacteria from yogurt, concentrated basically into a supplement or from the original yogurt or fermented dairy, when we do that, it facilitates the actions of the enterotype producing these immune priming bacteria of the gut, it facilitates the actions of the gut organisms. So think of it this way, probiotics act as conductors to the symphony of the gut. Make sense? That's exactly what they do and that's why they're important. Now, let's sum this up. What is intestinal dysbiosis? How do we mess up the gut flora? What are the parameters that lead to it? And what happens? Well, dysbiosis is altered intestinal microbes. It creates a toxic and potentially carcinogenic environment that leads to health decay. It leads to disturbed digestion, malabsorption, 
inflammation, which can lead to cardiovascular disease and cancer. It suppresses the immune system. These are not my opinions. These, are, this, these conclusions are from the current research. It suppresses the immune system or it can cause a hypervigilant autoimmune type immune system and you can have the two together. Low immunity to staph or strep like we mentioned and yet you're still attacking your joints having rheumatoid arthritis. It can happen together and this can be a direct result of intestinal dysbiosis. It can alter our mineral complexes and lead to osteoporosis and other mineral based problems. It can alter our hormonal systems uh, and disturb carbohydrate metabolism and lead to diabetes. And it can profoundly affect our ability to detoxify. All of this from our gut bacteria, all because we are willing to take a couple rounds of antibiotic a year or even less than that, all of that. Now, how would you know if you have dysbiosis? Because this is what I really, I don't think you folks get this part. You can have advanced dysbiosis and think everything's fine because in the early stages, you don't realize anything's happening. But here are the signs, and sometimes it's subtle, sometimes they're very mild, sometimes they can be severe, and sometimes the patient goes, I don't think anything, oh, I get a little gassy from time, or I got a little, but it's, it's nothing I can't handle. Here we go. You may have infections. You know, a normal, healthy human should only have one cold every decade. I know that's hard to believe, but that's what we're shooting for, the rare cold. You may have more than you should. It may be a bacteria, it may be a virus, it may be an ongoing athlete's foot that you just can't get rid of. Every time you get rid of it, it comes back. You may have a yeast infection. It may, that yeast infection may be under your skin. It could be in your vaginal tract. It could be in your intestinal tract. It could be on the skin anywhere. It could also have allergies, asthma, eczema. Everyone has allergies today. I couldn't possibly have dysbiosis. Everyone has, everyone has dysbiosis. That's why we have so much allergy. Could be food intolerances and food allergies. Could be weight gain, weight loss. Usually it's weight gain with dysbiosis. There could be constipation, back and forth with diarrhea. How about IBS? As the doctor said, well, I think you have irritable bowel syndrome. Well, this is the very definition of dysbiosis. There, and needing probiotics, the point of all of this. There could be gas, food intolerances, lactose intolerance. I used to drink milk, but I can't anymore and it went away, I can't, it's just gone, I can't do it anymore. There could be fatigue all day and insomnia at night. There could be headaches, and especially in the front. Frontal headaches around the eyes, that's very typical of advanced dysbiosis. Autoimmune disease, metabolic syndrome, diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and a history of multiple diseases, multiple doctor interventions with multiple prescription, especially antibiotics and steroids. That's what could happen. That's the type of symptoms you have. Now, we mentioned antibiotics as a cause of dysbiosis and a need for probiotics, but when we return from these important messages, there are other factors at play too. You may be the rare American who never takes an antibiotic. How could I have dysbiosis? You might be surprised. We'll learn more about that in just a minute. Probiotics bring you back in balance by encouraging the good bacteria and suppressing the bad. Multiple strains of probiotics in a supplement provide an even greater benefit for both adults and children. And today only, buy a bottle of BioInnovations Probiotics or BioKids Chewable Probiotics for Children and get a second bottle free. That's two bottles for the price of one. Scientific studies point to the vital role probiotics play as nutritional support for the proper function of the intestinal tract and in promoting a strong immune system. That's why BioInnovations offers physician-formulated Probiotic Plus and BioKids Chewable Probiotics. Again, today's special, buy one bottle, get the second bottle free. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number's 888-442-2128. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Are you looking for a healthy replacement for sodas? 
For thousands of years, the Far East has enjoyed the many health benefits of green tea. Now the Western world has embraced this potent antioxidant for its many health benefits as both a drink and supplement. Green tea has been thoroughly researched. It's been shown to improve bone density and immunity, as well as levels of cholesterol, blood sugar, and blood pressure. Research has also shown it to decrease inflammation and one's risk of cardiovascular disease and many forms of cancer. One recent study even found that people who drink five or more cups a day were 33% less likely to develop conditions that cause disability. For health, it is everyone's cup of tea. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. We're back, everyone. It's great to be with you. We're talking today about probiotics and how they can help us have a healthy intestinal system. Richard, that was quite a few different signs of possible yes. intestinal dysbiosis, which we know we pretty much all are subject to. We are. There are some other unusual causes as well. Yes. Well, yeah, you know, and it all adds up. Maybe you're not taking an antibiotic. Maybe you've never been on steroids. But how about your diet? Do you have a near-perfect diet? We don't have to have a perfect diet, but it needs to be 80, 90% near-perfect. Then now you're doing something special. Poor eating habits, 80% of all Americans, up to 80%, depending on the groups you survey, never eat any raw foods, no fruits, no raw vegetables, no salads. And this is a major source of uh, inoculating the intestinal tract with healthy bacteria is raw fruits and vegetables and this sort of thing. Uh, refined uh, low fiber foods and a lot of chemicals in our foods. Heavy metal exposure can alter bowel flora. It poisons our system, these heavy metals. Heavy metal poisoning induced death is relatively rare. But heavy metal induced chronic disease is on every corner of the cities you live in. If you walk and see 10 people, you will see at least one who is suffering from a heavy metal level that is compromising their health on the long run. I promise you, that's a fact. That's a fact. Chlorinated and fluoridated water. These things are not all bad. I understand that. Chlorinated water helps to keep the uh, infectious organisms out of our water supply, and that's a good thing. But can we at least filter out that fluorine and chlorine before we drink it? because the chlorine kills intestinal flora as well as sepsis in the water supply. Obesity, just gaining weight changes bowel flora. Becoming a diabetic changes bowel flora that is different than gaining weight. So if we put on weight, you have dysbiosis by definition almost. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, maybe you put on a little too much weight. You're not just 20, 30 pounds, you're 40, 60, 80 pounds overweight. You probably have developed some fat in the liver. This leads to another unique change in bowel flora. We're now up to at least 50% of the American population, 60, 70%. Antibiotics, we mentioned that. I want to mention it again. University of Michigan did a study that showed one course of a cephalosporin antibiotic caused intestinal flora change for 11 months, and it did not correct at the end of the 11-month study. Who knows how long one course of antibiotics. So even one course, every winter you get a little bronchitis, it's a round of antibiotics. That's not too much. But this study suggests 
that your bowel flora never corrects from even once a year use of antibiotics. We also know topical antibiotics affects intestinal uh, uh, bacteria levels. Who would have thought that? I, I, I would imagine if you polled 100 doctors in America, general practitioners across the land, 95% of them would not know about that research. Even topical antibiotics affects bowel flora. Now, we can recover from those things. It's not profound, but these things add up. That's the point of it. What else? Pain medicine, anti-inflammatory medicine, any medicine that constipates or loosens the stool will change bowel flora, and that's a wide variety of medicines. Foreign hormones, the xenoestrogens, hormone replacement therapy, oral birth control, all of them can affect bowel flora. Steroids, prednisone, we mentioned that. Stress, this one is really fascinating. Ohio State, stress causes an increase of clostridium bacteria and a decrease of bacteroides. Let's explain that a little bit. Clostridia, this is a family of bacteria, gram-positive bacteria, that are famous for causing disease. Have you ever heard of botulism? That's in that family. Have you ever heard of food poisoning? That's in that family. Have you ever heard of gangrene? That's a clostridium type of bacteria. Have you ever heard of tetanus, lockjaw? That's a clostridia. How about C. diff? You've heard of that one. This family of germs makes endospores. It's like a force field around the bacteria, and it shields it from the immune system. It's very hard to get rid of these germs. And when you're under chronic long-term stress, clostridia increases, disease-causing organisms, and the protective bacteroides decline. So you may lead a perfect life, but you're stressed day after day after day you're going to get dysbiosis from it, and it's been proven. The simple act of aging leads to rather remarkable intestinal flora changes. Travel, exposure to new infectious organisms. You know, the world's a very small place today, isn't it? Get on a plane, you will probably be able to spot people from all over the world if you knew where they all came from. <laughs> it's hard to tell, but... Isn't that the truth? You know, a cross-country air, you may be exposed to germs from every continent on the planet. And so this exposure is new to the human race. And it takes a while to adapt to this type of thing, and it affects our intestinal flora. Then when we take the perspective of anything that affects our, our immune system, anything that lowers our immune response, will also create a dysbiosis. This is why we need probiotics. This is why we need to eat healthier. This is why whenever we do an intervention in medicine, we should consider the implications on our bowel flora. Doctors, nurses, I challenge you to think more about that. You know, just because your treatment does not cause a side effect within the week of your treatment does not mean it's causing damage to your patients. Think about that, doctors and nurses. Our treatments have profound long-term implications. We're all very interested in now. I need help now. But at what price in the long run? Just think about that, please. And patients think about that. I want quick relief too, but not at the expense of my long-term health. These things we learn with maturity, don't we, honey? It takes time. Yeah. Sometimes quick relief is not worth it. It's better to suffer a little, but slowly get better because we don't pay the piper down at the end of that road. Just a little opinion on my part. All right. This part of the program, we have a little to start here before our break. This is why we need probiotics. What is the science on these probiotics? When we restore this bowel flora, when we introduce the conductor back into the symphony to control our immune response, what happens to us? Well, let's go into this. American Heart Association published a series of studies, uh, double-blind, placebo-controlled, 500 adults, probiotics lowered blood pressure, three and a half systolic and two and a half diastolic points. In those with hypertension, time-dependent, the longer they took it, it better controlled their blood pressure. See, there's your cardiovascular connection with probiotics. Functional foods, review of probiotics. This is a review of all the current literature as of 2016. Now, wasn't that long ago. This is current. Benefits in cardiovascular disease with probiotics. It lowers LDL cholesterol. It lowers LDL 
uh, to HDL ratio. That beneficial HDL comes up, uh, uh, HDL comes up, LDL goes down, lowers triglycerides. This is the metabolism arm of dysbiosis. It improves it. Blood pressure is improved. Inflammation is declined. Body inflammation comes from abnormal gut microbes. Far and away, the number one cause. It's not a steroid deficiency. I want to remind doctors of that. It improves glucose control along with lowering body mass index and body fat. Cardiovascular disease connection. University of Grenada animal study. Probiotics reduces fat accumulation in non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So we have proof now from animal and human studies how probiotics can improve metabolism and reduce diabetes risk and cardiovascular disease risk. But we have so much more when we return. Stay tuned. Probiotics bring you back in balance by encouraging the good bacteria and suppressing the bad. Multiple strains of probiotics in a supplement provide an even greater benefit for both adults and children. And today only, buy a bottle of BioInnovations Probiotics or BioKids Chewable Probiotics for Children and get a second bottle free. That's two bottles for the price of one. Scientific studies point to the vital role probiotics play as nutritional support for the proper function of the intestinal tract and in promoting a strong immune system. That's why BioInnovations offers physician-formulated Probiotic Plus and BioKids Chewable Probiotics. Again, today's special, Buy one bottle, get the second bottle free. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number's 888-442-2128. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. We all have said, I need to get some exercise, but how many of us put on our walking shoes and go? Learning a little more about the health benefits of exercise may help you get motivated to lace up those walking shoes. Exercise helps to control our appetite and weight. It maintains strong muscles. It promotes the release of endorphins that counter depression while helping us feel good about our lives. Exercise helps to lower blood glucose, promotes a strong circulatory system, and controls cholesterol. Exercise even helps us get a good night's sleep. Recent research finds dog owners who regularly walk their pet are 34% more likely to achieve fitness goals. You can get all of these health benefits by walking 30 minutes four times a week, just 30 minutes a day. Start today, and you'll start to get all those benefits. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Every day about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important, it protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioInnovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back, everyone, learning how probiotics are so instrumental and foundational in good health. And to help you get the probiotics you need, we have a great special today. We have our Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Probiotic with FOS, and we also have the chewable probiotics, which is great for children, adults as well, and both of them are multi-strained. Buy one bottle at the regular price, you get a second bottle free. So whichever one you want, and maybe you want a set of each one. It's a great way to get all those strains in there. So Richard, you know the chewable tastes pretty good. Oh, it is good. It's a fruit flavored. Yeah. I mean, it's not I, like a sweet tart, nice. but well, it's, you know. It's pretty good. I it's like not them. bad. 
Yeah, they're tasty. Yeah. You know, as we go through some of this research, I, I want to make it clear that science is interested in knowing single agents. What does the single agent do? And uh, of course, as science marches on, they have come to learn that the single agent is not the best approach to using probiotic multi-agent because they have a lot of different bacteria in our intestine. But much of this research has have been conducted on a single agent, so we can't extrapolate uh, precisely to every type of probiotic. But having said that, they are coming to understand that the multi-strain probiotic blends are the best in creating the uh, beneficial health effects. So let's go on. A review uh, published in the International Journal of Molecular Science, another current review of looking at all the research on probiotics and diabetes, metabolic syndrome, weight gain. Probiotics reduce body mass index. It helps you to lose weight. It reduces body fat percent, insulin resistance, improves blood lipids, that's your cholesterol and triglycerides, it lowers inflammation and metabolic stress, while it improves carbohydrate metabolism, insulin sensitivity, liver function, and the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. This is a review of hundreds of research articles conducted on probiotics in metabolic syndrome and diabetes. True benefits for the diabetic. Now, medicines will help lower your glucose levels, and I'm all for that. It has to get down. Whatever you do, get those glucose levels down. But you improve your physiology with probiotics. Medicines don't improve physiology. This is key. This is key. Next, University of Maryland. Those who ate more probiotic-containing foods had lower levels of social anxiety the gut-brain connection. A new study was just published where they found alterations in bioflora, those abnormal bacteria, travel to the brain and cause a certain type of dementia that pokes holes in the brain. And it all starts with abnormal gut bacteria that goes to the brain through translocation. So the gut-brain connection is irrefutable. And even some types of dementia now appears have their start in abnormal bioflora. Isn't that amazing? And what a powerful tool to help prevent. You know, one of the great tragedies in life is to lose your mental abilities. And everyone should think a little bit about that. Are the steps it takes to help to assure good mentation throughout life worth it? Is it worth the organic foods, the eating the fish and the B vitamins? Yeah. I don't want to go through life and then be dependent at a relatively young age on others to make my decisions. I don't like the possibility of that. I will do everything possible to help with that. Anyway, next thing. Probiotics reduce heavy metal levels in children and in pregnant mothers. Safe for pregnant moms and children alike, probiotics helps to detox, get those heavy metals out. World Journal of Surgery, for probiotic blend given one day before and continued 15 days after colorectal surgery. Probiotics reduce post-op complications and it reduce the need for mechanical ventilation, artificial breathing machine. You know what I'm talking about. And it reduced infections related to uh, ventilators. Sometimes just being on a ventilator leads to pneumonia. It reduced that phenomena as well. And anastomotic leaks. Hooking the gut back together, you have to suture it and that can leak. If you improve the bowel flora, they're less likely to leak these connections. So what are we doing in, in the surgical suite in intensive care? Antibiotic, antibiotic, nobody's paying any attention to restoring the flora. Well, it's beginning to catch on and the research says we need to do this. Doctors, if you have any influence on the formulary of your hospital, please insist on a good probiotic blend that anybody can take. You know, we have them now that you can put down nasogastric tubes. And of course, if the patient's alert and taking food, they can swallow the pill and the kids can chew it up or there can be liquid forms. And if, if they won't do that, get them a quality yogurt. At least we can do that. At least we can do that. Hospital Infection Review 2016, 20 trial review, abdominal surgery, probiotics reduce post-op surgical infections. Everyone's looking for new antibiotics when we should be using probiotics. University of Maryland, probiotic organisms influence the activity of other intestinal bacteria as facilitator of the overall intestinal ecosystem. That's hard to achieve without the probiotics. 
Probiotics reduce the death risk of preterm severely underweight infants. See, underweight infants, they go to the neonatal ICU. They don't suckle from mom, typically. Mother transfers probiotics to infant through nursing. If that action is not occurring, baby, it can take weeks and months for that baby to develop the proper, proper ecosystem in the bowel. And when they don't have that, their complications, disease profile is through the roof. And they've been able to prove with multiple studies, if we give these little tiny babies who are facing such an uphill battle, both lactobacillus and bifidobacterium, they do much better. Now, this also means that all newborns say mother can't breastfeed. Well, we want to introduce that into baby as soon as possible, and it's safe. It's okay with infants, children, pregnant mothers alike to take probiotics. Humans have been doing this for thousands of years. All right. Well, I tell you, we have a break coming, and we can't ignore that. So, but we have some more research for you. You know, your condition may be next. Stay tuned. Probiotics bring you back in balance by encouraging the good bacteria and suppressing the bad. Multiple strains of probiotics in a supplement provide an even greater benefit for both adults and children. And today only, buy a bottle of BioInnovations Probiotics or BioKids Chewable Probiotics for Children and get a second bottle free. That's two bottles for the price of one. Scientific studies point to the vital role probiotics play as nutritional support for the proper function of the intestinal tract and in promoting a strong immune system. That's why BioInnovations offers physician-formulated Probiotic Plus and BioKids Chewable Probiotics. Again, today's special, buy one bottle, get the second bottle free. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. During this holiday season, think of the words of the English writer G.K. Chesterton who said, when it comes to life, the critical thing is whether you take things for granted or take them with gratitude. No matter the size of our problem, Jesus cares. The Apostle Paul gave the Philippian church this advice in Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back everyone discussing how important probiotics are in total health. And to help you, we have Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Probiotic with FOS at buy one, get one free. We also have the chewable probiotic. And you know, another reason, Richard, that's really great for that chewable is you get different set of strains. Yes. 
Yes. So that just hit me while I'm talking about it. Well, wait a minute. You know, that's why you take best. this for a few days, take that one. You can. You don't have to do just one thing every right. day, every day, every, every day. That's very so good. Anyway, very good. Both of those are buy one bottle at the regular price and get a second bottle free. That's today, so don't miss it. And I'll let you continue with research because well, there's, there's so you have much. some amazing stories. And there are thousands now available. We can't do them all, but we'll do as many as possible. Quality of life in allergies and reduction of oculars. You know, the eyes can swell so, shut with allergies. That improves with allergy use with probiotics. Recurrent intestinal infections in babies. You know, this is a real rotavirus. Decrease that by 75% with probiotics. Improve symptoms in rheumatoid arthritis. Decreased inflammation helps them critically. ICU patients, whether they've had surgery or not, their outcomes improve if you give them all little probiotics. That's a pretty simple thing to do. No side effects, none. Probiotics reduces the plaque formation and carries in kids. You know how hard it is to get a kid into the routine of brushing their teeth. Give them a little yogurt and a probiotic every day until they get in the habit, fewer cavities, less plaque, and troubles with the mouth and teeth. Reduces the common cold in adults, fewer missed work days for adults. You know, just a couple days of missed work and you're behind on your bills. Boy, we've lived that life. We, you know, we got started too at a time when every dollar mattered. I remember those days. You get a sick week, boy, it's hard to catch up with that. Uh, explanation of how probiotics improve the immune response. They stimulate the macrophages production of interferon. That's for colds. Interferon helps to contain an infection in one small nest of cells. If that interferon is not at an adequate level, the infection spreads. Interferon contains the infection, and that's one of the ways that probiotics help to contain colds and infections. I find that interesting. Reduces diarrhea as a complication side effect of radiation therapy. Boy, this is what we hear. I had to have radiation for my cancer. Now it's diarrhea, diarrhea. Oh. Well, it will help after, but it works best if we take our probiotics while we're getting the radiation therapy. Do it whenever you can, but do it, whatever you do, take the probiotics. Uh, more likely to remission diverticular disease. You know how painful it is when the diverticulitis flares up? Oh, that's so painful. It can send you to the hospital. You'll have less of that if you get on probiotics. Add a little soluble fiber and that'll help too. Uh, gut microbes, modulating the immune system. They worked it all out. They looked at people with ulcerative colitis, chronic fatigue syndrome, and psoriasis, and they figured out how probiotics helped improve those conditions. It's all been mapped out. It helps you. Gastroenterology, IBS, they found that multiple species blends of probiotics help IBS more than single blend. It's not a mistake to take a single blend, but, you know, our resources for health care are limited. I get that. We want to use the most effective methods possible, and that's a multi-species probiotic. That makes sense, doesn't it? It helps to improve the appearance of dry skin. Also, vitamin D levels increase by about 15 nanograms per deciliter on average if you add probiotics to your regimen. And we don't think of probiotics as being a source of vitamin D. Well, they're not. There's no vitamin D in it. But it makes the system more efficient. And maybe, just maybe, we don't burn up as much vitamin D. I don't know. That's speculation. But in any effect, on average, when you take your probiotics, your vitamin D levels rise. And that's a good thing. Uh, functional constipation. In other words, we're constipated, but there's not a cause like a, a bowel tumor or anything like that. We just, we're irregular. Our, our, our constitution's off. That is improved with probiotics in both children and adults. Reduces uh, body fat levels. We talked about that. Improves lactose intolerance. This is something, you know, many of us, as we get older, we can't have the milk anymore. No more dairy products. Oh, I can't do it. And if we trace the origin, the history of that phenomenon, it goes back to, well, I got a, uh, I went on a cruise and I got sick on the cruise. How often have you heard that? I got a bad gastroenteritis and from that day forward, no more milk for me. That is usually altered bowel flora. If we restore the normal intestinal ecosystem, all of a sudden we can have milk again. It may not happen for you, but it's worth a try. I've heard that story so many times, I know it's worth a try.
fix the problem and we can digest food better. That's the point of it all. Uh, oh, this one's important because it improves the immune status of HIV positive mothers and HIV positive mothers' babies. Just the addition of probiotics. Uh, these babies are completely innocent. No matter what your views are, the baby is completely innocent. And we've got to do all we can to help these babies have a better life. Speaking of HIV, don't forget your selenium, protein, and B vitamins, HIV patients. That does what no drug can do. Selenium, protein, and B vitamins for HIV positive patients. Now, there's a long list of established probiotic uh, benefits, but I think we've covered those big things. We are what we are. We are organisms that require one, two, three pounds even of bacteria in our intestinal tract. If we do not have these probiotics in our daily diet and our supplement plan, those gangsters in the gut start thinking on their own. They need someone to lead them, and that's what probiotics do. They orchestrate the environment in the gut. We have some important messages. We'll be back for the wrap-up. Probiotics bring you back in balance by encouraging the good bacteria and suppressing the bad. Multiple strains of probiotics in a supplement provide an even greater benefit for both adults and children. And today only, buy a bottle of BioInnovations Probiotics or BioKids Chewable Probiotics for Children and get a second bottle free. That's two bottles for the price of one. Scientific studies point to the vital role probiotics play as nutritional support for the proper function of the intestinal tract and in promoting a strong immune system. That's why BioInnovations offers physician-formulated Probiotic Plus and BioKids Chewable Probiotics. Again, today's special, buy one bottle, get the second bottle free. Order online at BioInnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number's 888-442-2128. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. Each year, more than 76 million Americans contract food poisoning. Most cases are caused by tainted fruits and vegetables, especially contaminated leafy lettuce. But poultry causes the most food poisoning related deaths. To prevent food poisoning, follow these simple rules. Thoroughly wash all fruits and vegetables. When preparing any kind of meat, wash your hands, utensils, and work area before preparing any other food. Cook thoroughly chicken and ground meats. Store leftovers in the refrigerator immediately. Look for expiration dates when you shop. If you use reusable grocery totes, wash them periodically. And finally, use spices such as garlic and oregano to inhibit the growth of bacteria that cause food poisoning. Food safety lowers your risk significantly of getting sick. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. For thousands of years, Eastern health practitioners have used mushrooms for a variety of treatments. And recently, scientists everywhere in the world have turned to mushrooms in search of health-promoting compounds. These are known as medicinal mushrooms. Among some of the most potent are ABM, maitake, reishi, shiitake, and cordyceps sinensis. At BioInnovations, we've made available four of the most powerful mushrooms in one easy-to-use formula. We call it the Mushroom Complex. We also offer the amazing Mushroom Cordyceps Sinensis in a standalone formula. Cordyceps helps boost energy, an amazing discovery now used in both Eastern and Western medicine. So take advantage of thousands of years of health knowledge. Order online at BioInnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Your Health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back, everyone. Just a quick reminder, the Bionutrients Probiotics with FOS and the Children's Chewable Probiotic are both buy one, get one free. That's today only, so don't miss it. So, Richard, I know we're, this hour is just flying by. Yeah. Let's talk about the strains specifically in the probiotic supplements. Yes, the, uh, 
The tablet version of the probiotic has eight different probiotic species. Um, Lactobacillus acidophilus, Bifidobacterium bifidum, L. helveticus, B. longum, Enterococcyphaceum, Lactobacillus plantarium, Rhamnosus, and Salivarius. Now you won't remember all that. I, I don't remember it from minute to minute, but let me tell you how we formulated this. You know, honey, all those years in practice, 20 years, thousands upon thousands of patients, you learn a thing or two. And what it taught me is what you suffer from. Add that to my own health challenges and the family and other friends and, and whatnot. Well, you get an idea and then you go to the literature and look at the studies, what helps what, and that's how we came up with this. We took your health concerns from your calls, your questions, and from our years in the clinic, and said, so we need help with this, we need help with that, and so we've gotta have this organism and that and whatnot. And so that's how it led to eight species of probiotics before anybody was doing that. Nobody was doing eight. Oh, they even called us, are you sure you want eight? Nobody's doing, I says, yeah, we do. And Thank God for that inspiration because that's what's working. That's what helps people. And I think you will feel the difference when you take that approach. Now, the same thing. We did the same thing for the chewable for the kids. If that child is able to take something and chew on it, and reliably chew, typically four years and up, but even if it's a newborn baby, you can take that chewable tablet and crush it. Crush it into a powder and put it on whatever they're eating, any soft food, or a senior who can't chew something. You can crush it. Anybody can have this at any age. And it gives the little ones the proper representation of the lactobacillus and the bifidobacterium. Babies need both sides. And babies who develop into allergy-prone children and attention deficit and behavior problems, they don't have good representations of both sides. Lactobacillus bifidobacterium. So that's what we focused on, and that's what's abundant in the pediatric. But there's benefit for both. So one could make this, uh, the case that an adult would do a month of the adult formula and then go to a month for the chewable kids. I do that, and I see a little extra benefit myself. But the idea is multi-strain works the best for our varied health needs. Because the notion that I only have one health challenge one thing, one little thing, that's not reality. That's, that's how science studies diseases so we can make firm conclusions, but that's not how we humans suffer from problems. We have an iceberg, that point, that one thing, but underneath it, under the sea where you can't see it, is all this cauldron of trouble brewing, and that's the gut. That's the gut, and using the probiotics, doing all these lifestyle things, the dietary measures and cleaning up our environment. It's all necessary for this. And our book, Foundations for Healing, goes into great deal. It was written for this exact purpose. And this is my absolute favorite topic to talk to you about because it's so important. Without this approach, all the remedies of the modern age, they're essentially useless. So we have to pay attention to it. Well, I think I've said enough for one day. Thank you for your kind attention, folks. Probiotics. Try the multi-species. You're going to see a difference. We'll see you again right here on Your Health tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.